we'll call the meeting to order. Um, and I'm just going to call that Beverly and Beth he here. Debbie Martin here. And Erica. <laughs> hey, <Hailey>. Lee. Here. <laughs> Cecilia, and then Steve is here, and uh, Jim. Here, yes. <laughs> You're taking a shout out. Man. And that's awesome. Yeah. Susie Trout. Appreciate it. Yes. Yeah, and shout out. Joanna are at the table. We have uh, our directors, Anita, Gabby, Amy, and uh, Alicia. Lauren's and Lauren's on her way. Uh, we have a visitor. Would you like to introduce yourself? My name is Pat Smith. Okay. And I'm just a, I'm just a member of the community. Okay. Well, we do have a sign-in sheet if you would like to speak. No, I'm fine. Okay. Okay. Um, so we'll now call the meeting to order. And we have everybody here, which is wonderful. And we're glad to be here. We're glad to get started. Uh, I am looking for a motion to approve the agenda. One thing I put Anita do in Portland and Westmoreland, and that was from Lauren being on uh, maternity leave, and but Lauren's coming, so if you want to amend the agenda to where Lauren will give her own report, I would appreciate the motion to amend the agenda to that effect. I'll make a motion. Okay. So we have a second. Debbie Martin seconds. All in favor of approving the agenda with this amendment. Say aye. Aye. Okay. Aye. okay, thank you. Anybody <laughs> opposed? Okay, we'll move on. Uh, this is the time for public recognition. Um, we're so glad you're here. If you do want to speak, you can sign up and speak to us, or uh, if not, we're glad you're interested in what's going on. Okay, the next thing on the agenda is the approval of the minutes from July the 12th, 2023 and August the 9th, which was a special call meeting uh, of 2023. I have one copy if somebody doesn't have a copy with them. Okay. But, oh, I can just email. I'll speak I have email the copies <laughs> on the last meeting if anyone needs a copy of Here they are. Thank you. It's and I can, I can get them again. You know, I mean, I've got them today. So. And I probably have another please. copy somewhere in the south. So. Yeah, and you can see it, and I've got it. Okay. So, after glancing at it, uh, do I have a motion to approve both sets of minutes so as they're submitted? Jim moves. Do I have a second? I have a second. Okay, Joanna's second. So, are all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Our minutes have been approved. So, we're going to look back for just a minute at old business. Uh, we have Four of our directors that have been accept accepted to the PLNL program. We are ecstatic that that's happening. So Gabby and Amy, Lauren and Alicia are going to be devoting themselves to extensive study. They have my admiration and my sympathy because it's <laughs> it's a very intense program. But congratulations to all of you. Moving on, the trustee training that happened yesterday. Um, just wanted to hit on a few things that that were there. Beverly was there, Joanna was there, I was there. So that's three people. So that really helps with the technology grants as they look at is the board involved? Do they, you know, participate in those kind of things? So that's going to be a star in our crown for having that many people participate. What, would you, what was your takeaway, Joanna? Um, wow, there was a, there was a lot of takeaways, um, but um, I think it was it was great to um, to hear who. What, let me find the agenda again. The two gentlemen that spoke um, from CTAS. Yes, mm -hmm. from CTAS. Yeah. Because what is it? MTAS makes the problems, and CTAS. Yeah, and that was just that. a joke because <laughs> cities and counties tend to have that you so, know, little bit. I of think it's funny. So <laughs> he said it numerous times. So, yeah. um, so anyway, so it was Ben Rogers and Wesley Robertson. Now, which one? Okay, 
what, what was the differentiation? Because I couldn't remember who was Wesley and who was Ben. So Wesley's the, the bull. Huh? Okay, Sorry. Wesley. <laughs> so he oversees us in Sumner County. Yes, he is. Uh, ben Rogers is more on the east, so mm -hmm. he's Putnam and probably White County, that, that side, but Wesley mm -hmm. is, is Sumner. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, so he's kind of the one I talk to uh, when we talk about libraries in our region. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which that was good to know because mm -hmm. I was like, oh. So, um, yeah. and I actually spoke with them afterwards. Mm -hmm. So um, they they were great. Um, you know, I, I liked you a year in the life of the library board. That was that was cool. Um, you did great. <laughs> Um, so um, what I heard, my biggest takeaway, what I what I really got away was that we are supposed to analyze policies and everything on a yearly basis, mm -hmm. <laughs> and so that's what I mm -hmm. that was the biggest takeaway was you got to be up to date on a yearly basis. <laughs> so yeah. yep, okay. yep, family. Oh, yeah, I was so impressed with everything. I, I came away from there feeling like I had really learned a lot. Uh, the topics that they chose for us, uh, I think it's going to be helpful for the board. And we have, if any of y'all that didn't get to go, we have some of the uh, little packets that they gave us. Be mm -hmm. glad to share it with you. Overall, I just, uh, I like the emphasis on from all the speakers on being positive, you know, and, and having good faith and working with the county commission and working with each other, with the directors. And um, they just gave us a, a good, I, I took notes and different things like that, but they just gave us a good eye on uh, how, how professional I think that everybody in this uh, particular region, and I have to give kudos to because I know you had a lot of to do with that yesterday. And the food was excellent. Yeah, they, yeah. yeah. and I made the food. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, the food right. is always good. The food is always the highlight. Yeah. <laughs> but I did enjoy it, and I, I'm glad I had the privilege of going. Yeah, the behind the scenes, you could tell there was a lot that went on behind the scenes before we actually had to meet. It, so. Um, one of my favorite takeaways is that librarians are one of the most trusted professions Aww. and all. So, uh, and it was based, it started in Massachusetts based on how did you get that data because they're not usually included. But when they set up their own Gallup style poll and they included librarians in there, they finished second to nurses in most of the profession in most of their rankings so uh, that was a great takeaway for me mm -hmm. along the way and um, I love the positivity I loved uh, the things that they were telling they did talk about yearly reviews on policies and evaluations and things like that that we've talked about it's time to hit the ground and let's let's just do it now we're going to be like Nike people we're going to do it now so, um, and I promise you that when I did this agenda I sent it out to you two weeks before almost I had not seen the agenda that they covered so I was glad to see that we're going to address some of the things that they addressed with us yesterday anybody else now Beth is going to too mm -hmm. And um, it's always it's always a good takeaway. And like Joanna said, you got to talk to some of the people that were talking, and you could get into deeper conversations along the way. So it was a really good experience for everybody. Moving on to new business, we're going to talk. Uh, oh, okay. just Ms. one Debbie. second. I, okay. We approved the minutes, and I was just told on the uh, ninth, Kaylee is Wilson, not. Williams. Okay. So we just yeah, if so we just change just that. change the yeah. name on yeah. that. So it where it says present, it's correct, but on the back page. The back page. Okay. She seconded a motion Wilson. there. Oh, okay. So there, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. okay. I didn't even. Yeah. That. That's well, I was typing when I was working on this. Uh, the next thing on the agenda, I'm Wilbur, 
and she's Wilson, and I kept getting a B instead of an S, <laughs> and I have to go back and change it. So <laughs> if it's Wilson, it's just because I'm so used to that uh, going to a B instead of an S. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So. so without objection, um, changing the minutes to reflect that. Do we need to do a quick vote on that, or? Well, I mean, I would, if there's a. Does anybody? have an objection to changing the minutes no, to no. reflect the correct spelling of her name. Nope. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Something like something that's that small. Yeah. <laughs> you will be. And, and you know, not. spell check, you can't live with it, you can't live without it. That's not so. <laughs> Okay, on to new business. We're going to talk about committees because we've lost two members. Um, two very valuable people and we're going to miss them. We're going to pick up and move on and, and uh, we're going to let it be known we do have still have three spots mm -hmm. and we do need to get those filled but we need to go ahead and get our new people on committees and then talk about what those committees are going to do. So we're going to get you on a committee one at a time and then as we go down to the next one uh, We'll kind of, if you have questions, we'll answer. This is a little bit of housekeeping, and then at each committee will just kind of affirm how they're going to stand. They, they, take, they took effect in July, right? And the committees are kind of a yearly thing. However, that's not set in stone. They're, this is a working document. So if you're on a committee that, and I'm just twisting people's arms because of what we've lost. If you're on a committee or I've asked you to serve, I couldn't put you exactly where you wanted to go, then uh, we can talk about that down, you know, we can put it back on the agenda and talk about that. But we just need to get some, some blanks filled along the way. I have a rough draft of, uh, and Kaylee and Erica <coughs> did email me and tell me what they wanted. I was able to sort of get you on at least one of the two choices. So. And we'll look really, at it. The annual year begins in September. Okay, so here so we are. That's why I was like, I think the new So we can go September to September, mm -hmm. but that's not cast in stone because you said they can move, it says members they can move. Can, members can resign if they would like. You know, right, yeah, they can move on and off. And a member may join a committee at any time. Right, because if we get mm -hmm. new ones coming in, we will need to do that. Yeah, and, and even us, you know, if, yeah. uh -huh. you know we, we can move around I've and, moved add, to you. <laughs> and add, you know, to be added to any, right. and you can, ha you can be on all four if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I will tell you that, uh, you know, with the committees, we're not, we're, there's, we kind of, Joanna, when she pulled them together, she kind of get us a date that would work, a time that would work. You know, we, we're real flexible, but like, Hendersonville works wonderful mm -hmm. because they've got all these rooms. We can find a spot usually there. But we are welcome at Portland or Gallatin or Westmoreland or Millersville either. So, you know, if you're the chair of the committee and you want to go to Millersville, you, we can do that. I mean, th those are very, very flexible. And we do try to be very accommodating. Debbie works, you know. So we do try to think about schedules and that sort of thing when we do sit but it's a commitment. <laughs> it's a commitment. Mm -hmm. So, does everybody have a copy? Did I have enough to go around? Um, okay. Yeah. And I'll share, Susie, I'll share with you if you need So, these. So, if we requested two and I'm not on the second, is there, and there is okay. a blank there, is there a reason why I can't? No, well, you can do that. I just yeah. didn't want to overwhelm you until we talked about it. So, but let's talk about policies and bylaws first. I have, and Beverly is the chair of that committee, Joanna, that's the committee that I came off of, so I put myself back on that committee, and Jim Holcomb had requested that, so I put him there. There is a spot there, so we can talk about that. Um, when I went from being a board member to the chair, the old bylaw said I was ex officio of all four committees. Mm -hmm non-voting. Well, the new by bylaws do not say that, so I can put myself on the committees and become a voting member of the committee. They also say three to five members, so that's why we stopped it at five now. Where before I could have five, and I could still been there because I wasn't voting. So, 
that changed just a little bit with the new bylaws. So with policies, Beverly's the chair, Joanna, I put myself back on that committee because I know about it. And then Jim is gonna be on that committee for us. And on the, um, so I'm gonna wait on that, Steve, since she may want to, or is that one that you were thinking about you wanted to? Yes. So can we wait on and do them all at once and just affirm all of them since we're gonna be filling in blanks? Oh, she wants to be on it. Why can't she be on it? Oh, and right there. Because I think that, was that one of the ones that you requested no, TK? No, personnel or facilities was. Okay, so. I put you on yeah. facilities because personnel was full. So I think that was, I was gonna give you the choice on that. So if you wanna go to policies and bylaws, Erica, we can do that right now. Yeah, and, and I'm E-R-I-K-A. Yeah, I put C, didn't I? Yeah. And that's, we can change that with the one so, stroke of a pen, Erica. And it's ER, I did get the ER at the end. So. Yes, you did. <laughs> okay. So so. She's going to be on policy. We're going to add her to policy. Okay. Okay, now, the policies committee is set from September 1, their September 1st meeting till the meeting in September, unless it becomes, you know, a strain, an inconvenience, or somebody else drops off so you know and we'll do that so okay our policies and bylaws committee is set all in favor I need a motion to set the committee the policies and bylaws yes <coughs> okay I have a motion okay I second. need a second Beverly seconds all in favor aye, aye. any opposed okay the next one is budget okay Jim sort of twisted, well, he sort of had an arm twister here to <laughs> convince him he needed to be on the budget committee because uh, yeah. Diane is no longer here. I appreciate it. Yeah. Here to serve. Uh, Great uh, answer. So, uh, and we, we, it's not on the agenda this month. Letting you think about it, we will have to elect a treasurer at our next meeting. And that treasurer will be the chairman of the budget committee. So right now we just, but budget is busy from February till the end of June. So we've got a little bit of time to do that. But that's just a heads up on the budget committee. <laughs> and um, it's a commitment because you have to go to the budget committee meetings with the commission. Uh, I went with Diane several several times they also have that Debbie was there some Anita was there some mm -hmm. and some of the other directors went mm -hmm. especially at the very beginning when they were just submitting their budgets um, they do schedule us in their individual hearings and all so you know it's a commitment that you're gonna have to have your work cut out for you know you've got to know and Jim said he didn't like budgets, but he could spot um, fraud. Yeah. <laughs> so I think we're going to be okay. <laughs> you know, he said, I, financial fraud, I can identify. And I thought, I don't think that's going to be an issue, but at least you look at the numbers and you're going to So, um, and I, and if I, you're I, running for office, Jim, I think I've made my campaign speech for you. I, I, was, I, I started to mention something I'll uh -huh. mention to him. Um, when you all elect the chairman, I forgot. I chairman of what? The whole May. May. And they take they I take I office yeah. the first of G in July. Yeah. All right. So, so, I just, with all the other chairmen being right. excited for all the other so, committees, I just wanted to agree no. on that. But, you know, now that we've lost one, we need we do need to replace the treasurer. No, I was talking about for the whole, yeah, you're right. Yeah, and then the treasurer is the uh, yeah, chairman the of the budget committee. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, whatever so my best LBJ, I will not seek nor will I accept the nomination for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that yet. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's just, that's my spiel, so you yeah. know, think about it. Duly noted. And, uh, but, uh, and, you know, if we, you know, three is okay if somebody else wants to add. I will be glad to 
fill in these last two blanks on the budget committee. <laughs> um, I have two blanks. I would be glad to fill them in. Um, it was only huh? three people last yeah. time. It was no, only three people last yeah. time. And, uh, yeah. and that makes that easy. Yeah. 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 Maybe so. Maybe I should look at it. Yeah. With that being said, <laughs> you're all welcome to come to all of them. You don't have to be a member of the committee to come to the committee. You know, we all have a seat at the table. So with that being said, we all can do that. Mm -hmm. um, but right now, I like odd numbers. So it's three to five, we could have four, but for right now, we can leave that. If we get new members that are interested, mm -hmm. we can do that. Okay, so I need a nomination to set our budget committee for the moment until we get a treasurer and then we'll drop back in pun and see what so, we have so to do move. to make that happen. I move. You Except move to committee. set the budget committee. Do I have a second? second. Debbie Martin seconds. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. The next one is personnel. Um, we are full. We already have a chairman for that one. So um, I need a motion to have that committee set. Who's the chair? Uh, Joanne is the chair of the personnel committee. Yeah. Vice Chair, according to the new bylaws, is always going to be the chair of the personnel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I make a motion to set the personnel okay. committee. Do second. I have a second? Beverly seconds. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Um, then the last one is facilities. Um, Beth has been on the is the only one that's been on the facilities and had to do the major deal. She can tell you just a little bit about that. Um, this is the first time I think that we ever did this as a board. Is that I believe that's correct? To follow the guidelines. Yeah, you did it a couple and years ago. The Tennessee standards for public libraries, and it has certain pages that you follow. And their recommendation is to do this once every three years. So we completed it last year. 2022 and I have a copy of our findings if you want to call it that that would get an overview and there are several things on it oh, I've got some copies um, several things that are on it that are currently being addressed by the various libraries but mm -hmm. what happened with this that through the five minutes you need to look you have all have this book okay you should all have this and if you look on pages 28 through really three, I don't know. I haven't met with you. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, yeah, some of them don't have it. I don't have yeah. one. I gave mine away or oh. something. So <laughs> I, I have plenty. Well, so I'll you need a copy of this. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm glad and, to uh, share. <laughs> since it was a new yeah. endeavor that we were just kind of doing this ourselves, yeah. uh, but we visited every library. And there's a list of basically a very involved checklist mm -hmm. that you follow. And um, our librarians, our libraries are great. Uh, the directors are wonderful. But there are things that are constantly being worked on, right, Debbie? Things like carpet and mm -hmm. things like that, or roofs like or that. whatever. Mm -hmm. So they're continuing air conditioning <laughs> process. But this is just an overview of. Of uh, accessibility and it's safe and the things that need to make it the very best facility that we can and uh, that was given to the chairperson which was Ronnie Fox at the time and they were to work it kind of went out of the committee's hands to the chairperson's hands to the executive director's hands and honestly in terms of what's being followed through with that that would be something that I don't think I think as intensive as this was and as much paperwork as it was maybe be fine to continue the three year every three year mm -hmm. but it, look at what the findings were mm -hmm. and study those and go with the directors and see okay what are we working on what do we need to work on is perhaps maybe the next step to take with that because that would knowledge, go hand in hand with a budget ask yeah. so you know directors what do y'all think you know yeah. that would be but it's yes and I do okay. not have a copy of that document so um, that's what but I, was I think ask. we can mm -hmm. um, I could probably ask around and see if I yeah okay so Gabby has it uh-huh um, is this is this are we in discussion mode 
Are we in discussion? I well, we're, we're setting them in. The yeah. So okay, we're cause, still. Because I have yeah. a question of talking okay. about that. Because, yes, I'd love to get that because. Not the, to be fair, we haven't done motions or seconds to discuss any of this stuff. Okay. Can we. Can I a motion Please, to open discussion about facilities? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anybody second? Second. second? Okay, okay. So, um, and the reason I definitely were thinking that we, we need that, that because the, the, the thing that happened with Gabby with the carpet that the commissioners had to get in, in, involved with still this involved year and still involved with, I mean, had we had that? We had pictures. Have, had we, we had pictures, that picture? Yes. Had we had that? And, that, and, and as a new board yeah. received that, then we could have definitely taken care of that earlier before it got to the point where. And that's Gabby. what happened with the. It's a long Every, turnover. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. There mm -hmm. we go. Maybe that's why. But I have a copy of our overall, I guess, report or findings. Okay. So I'd be more than happy for everybody to have a copy of that to see where we or back in yeah. 2022 mm -hmm. and kind of see what's gone with that. And so. you said you have pictures too? We you had all that wins? was given to um, the chairperson, okay? Uh, Dennis, who was on the committee, mm -hmm. uh, we, he, he basically put it all together and presented that to, he gave it to the chairperson and I don't know what happened mm -hmm. at that point. And Dennis was an employee in this building that he was the IT director so he had access to a lot of buildings and things I mean you know okay so um Gabby says she has that okay you have the so pictures and everything too I'm, so look, I just got my computer turned on. okay yeah no worries you don't have to do it now but it would be good to know because also with budget committee <laughs> we need to know like what problems are happening that we might have to address in the upcoming budget so very important you know and some things the facility committee even though you visit every library uh, we didn't know there was going to be a flood at I mean there are things that you know. did so so much of the things that are necessary uh, financially are things that maybe you things happen I just put it that way so yeah we can't control those yeah. those kind of things on the way Okay, so that's an overview of the facilities. We've talked a little bit about that report that was done. Do I have... Uh, sorry, question. So, like, it says there are several concerns that apply to most branches. Concerns mm -hmm. include interior issues, including repair, uh, uh, flooring to be cleaned, repaired, and or replaced. Mm -hmm. I mean, do we know which, which branches that yeah. is? I'll have to pull everything up individually, okay? okay. But yes, that was all presented in the report. Okay. okay? That was all. Yeah, this was the overview. Okay. You, that, that's just the overview. And if you look at okay. 28 through 33 and to see how many checklists and everything, that was each library okay. uh, was visited, each of that was done, each was put together, and an overview presented to the board. Okay. And like I said, the bulk, everything else, was given as directed sure. by the board chair to be able to place that with the executive director and take steps from that. Sure. Yeah. And with everything like we just said that's happened, some things. Yeah. yeah. Just I mean they didn't. Okay. You know. But a lot of it is happening or has happened. And so, do you have any of the details? Or I've got it somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. I just think it would be good for us to have as much detail as possible so well, we can know what yeah. I'm kind of, we're still discussing is like are we good for every three years or does do, I don't think when we talk about every year I just don't feel like this is something that policies and bylaws yes I understand and budget and everything but I yeah, don't know no, I, I think anything. every three years is probably fine and it sounds like you're still you're kind of still working through the one mm -hmm. that you have yes. mm -hmm. so it's you know probably spending more time on that and just kind of going okay Deep what you have I have a quick concern though because of a flood do we know all the problems because you know we also again we didn't we didn't account for a flood mm -hmm. so and since that did happen should we at least do some type of facilities do a site visit? Uh, yeah, um, and 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 find out what is still needed in that area 
I mean, so are you saying like a follow up after those repairs and things like that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, since, especially since it's been a year, there's been turnover, and then also we don't have a full report mm -hmm. to kind of go, hey, you know, what has been fixed, what hasn't been fixed, so that we can at least yearly know what has been checked off of it. I mean, I would think that that would be a very responsible thing. That's my opinion. What are your thoughts? So I'm I know what to do in budget. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what still needs to be done. And, and I totally agree that there has to be times that we go by <coughs> and look at these facilities. Mm -hmm. If we don't have anything preventative, is, is our eyeballs one of those that can say, hey, it looks like things are happening here. Can we have some kind of little guideline or checklist that mm -hmm. maybe once a year, maybe 18 months, Maybe we don't have to say every year, but ever so often go by and, and just sort of eyeball these things to see if that's something we need to be aware of. And I think I the directors great, know. Yeah, I do have They do know what's yeah. going on in their buildings. Directors will yeah. say, oh, this is happening. Because yeah. I Madam think Chairman, I just want to kind of bring it to your attention that we're discussing the composition of the committee. I'm sorry. I mean, oh, we're still the talking about the You're talking about the actual committee is going to do, you know, as opposed yeah. to the okay. and It's your meeting last week. Okay. Oh, okay. Your so, yeah, the, that would be the committee could decide, you could sure. meet and decide to do that and that sort of thing. Okay. That's the chairman. We don't, they don't. When they met, I, I guess, was. Okay. I was okay. Best. So, uh, but when they meet again, they can select a chairman. I and they, yeah. So, um, and Beth, if you yeah, wanted to yeah. volunteer to be on another committee, I would take that too. Mm -hmm. But I know this well, is. We just don't want it to be odd, even numbers. Right. Yeah. You know, so okay. Just, uh, I hear you. Yeah, I know, I know what you're saying. You so, okay. I can do budget, but you need a fifth one too. Yeah. So, so okay. Uh, well, and if we do need, need that Jackie. fourth one, I will twist your arm like I did you. Put so. me square. Okay. <laughs> Facilities committee. We're going to go with Beth and as the chairman from the last time they met and Debbie and Kaylee so and I y'all are th I mean I think we've got a really good representative and I think you'll have a good rep you know rapport with your directors and they can tell you you know what's going to happen so do I have a motion to set our facilities committee motion I'll okay make a second. Kaylee Wilson we'll makes the motion and we have a second all in favor to set that committee I need an eye. All right, can you folks? Okay, we're going to move on next to uh, the bylaws in policies committee. I see. I think everybody got the uh, signed agreement, a copy with that last page. Did you get? I can send it again. I know the directors. I sent it to them. I, I didn't get anything. Okay, I, I can send that. it. I can send that out because those last two pages are the words when the policies and bylaws, but those are the two we have to make sure yeah. are in there. Okay. And um, But you did get the policies and bylaws that Beverly sent out that we are under. Can I make it? I'm okay. so confused. Uh, do I have a motion to get this discussion on the floor? Any motion. Discussion about policies and bylaws. And this is the, just the committee. The committee, you know, to me. We've set the committee. Now we're going to talk about what they're going to do between now and January 1st. I thought we were just talking, I thought we were just establishing the committee. We finished that. Yeah, we okay. Oh, so on now the, we're going to, where are we at? Six six B. Number B. six, item B. Okay. Okay. So, so do I have a motion to get it on the discussion on the floor? Yes. Yes. Debbie makes the motion. Do I have a second? Joanna, you want to second? Yes, I second. Okay. Um, so, we're discussing the bylaws and policies meeting? No, we're not. We're... Because that's what it says. What? Yes. What I want to make sure is that everybody has a copy of what Beverly sent out. And there, she's going to set for that committee to meet, but I just need to make sure you have the information you need. That was sent out in July or yeah, something June, like yes. that? Yes. June, July. No, that's bylaws. This is just policies. Oh, this big thing? 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. I sent it's it's quite it was, a package. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yes. I don't have that with me right now. Okay. Yeah, but you, you don't do have, have to. I'm just right. trying to make sure yes. that you got yes. it. Yes. Yes. Even if you're not on the committee. Yes. Yeah. We have. So I and I will send out those last two pages that the uh, okay. the agreement yeah. that I signed with Cecilia. Yeah. I don't. I don't think to get the, that's a spe- the cost. You will need that. Yeah. I will get that Is to it you. This that we had last time. Mm-hmm. That's it. Okay. So if you don't have it, let Sign. me know. It was in the packet last time. It was in the packet from last time. Well, I signed it. You just have copies of it. I signed it. And, um, yes. Okay. Beverly, yes. Uh, just clarification. Uh, and I wanted to thank Amy because she's, she's really good at these policies. And undoubtedly there had been some work done before. So what I'm hoping that we can do when we meet as a committee is eliminate because some of these we don't they're not even relevant to us now. So I think it's gonna make it easier. So if you will just look through those and when we do have a committee, you are welcome to come. It's not just for the committee. But that that's the most important thing if you can take time to read through it so we can eliminate and that'll that'll be a a big part of our work and then get started and that one policy we really got to get done mm-hmm. that's what we're under that's where well, a deadline we're under the gun on that yeah that's where a deadline do we have a so, motion on the floor to discuss this yes, yes, yes we, did. we do okay, we did. you were talking yes. 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 you were it did happen these two yeah. First and second did okay. Yes. <laughs> yes, we did have a question. Sorry. <laughs> I think so. I, I just, I just, so, uh, what, what is the role of the directors in, in this? Are they part of it? Yes, they, they have, have a seat policies. at the table. Oh, okay, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Uh, because they're boots on the ground and they're yes. the ones that have to make it work. Yeah. They're the ones that look at the people as they come in and say, yeah. this is the way it needs to right. be. So. When they do meet, you all have a seat at the table. Absolutely. So, um, and I, but I just wanted to know, to, to say, this committee is going to, it's the uh, utmost right now. We're going to convene. Everybody's welcome to come to that committee. So, and Beverly, you'll be getting in touch can, with them. Can I clarify yes. something? Sure. Yes. Um, and by me is no disrespect. What do you mean by a seat at the table? Well, just like everybody else, we hope that everybody will come because actually Amy's been sending me a lot of this mm-hmm. information and it does affect them, mm-hmm. probably more so than us. So I, I would love to have their so you, input. You mean they're they won't be voting members, okay. but they, they have a voice. So I just, no. Yes, um, they, they have a seat at the table, table they're a voice. Okay, and then also clarify, the bylaws and policies meeting that we're coming up what policies are we going over? Are we going over every single library policy there is? Or are we just gonna focus in on the one that has to be done by January 1st? My first priority is that one. I wanna go ahead and get that done okay. so we can have, cause I don't wanna mess up our money. And then that's why I was saying, I wish everybody would read and look and see what we could eliminate. And that way we can push that out out of the way and let, then focus on what we need to either revise, to keep, or whatever. But no, that first policy is the one that, that the state that you told us about, we need to get that done. So when we meet, that's gonna be our first so, um, priority. So, so my question is, is would you entertain us, since there are many policies, and so that we don't waste the time of the directors saying, hey, in this meeting we'll we'll do this policy and these three policies, um, and then if we have more time, then we'll do more. That way, you know, we know what we're focusing on for that meeting. Well, you're the chairman. Would you, you'll would you entertain that? that? Yeah. One, so, yeah. And I will do that once we okay. get started. Mm-hmm. We gotta have a time first. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. I, I get the yeah. first one we're going to directly uh, work with this one policy okay. make sure we've got that right mm-hmm. and then from there and we, and we can spend time at that meeting too and also talk about which ones we want to bring up on the next one 
But I'm, that's sort of getting a little bit ahead of it because we got to set our time and everything. I'm else. just trying to be prepared. Gotcha. So I was just curious. So the first one is basically going to be this one, and then we'll set another date for other policies. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I hope if we have time, we can look at all of them. But for right now, I really want to work on that one. Okay. All right. Do we need a motion to close the discussion? No. Okay, all right. Moving on to C, do I have a motion to discuss the calendar for 2024? Originally, this was gonna be calendar, the calendar word we're gonna play with a little bit after yesterday's meeting, but I need a motion to get it on the floor. So moved. Okay, Jim made the motion. Second. Kaylee, oh, second. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, this is September, so I'm just looking to next year because I have to submit a calendar to uh, get it on the website and the calendar for next year. So we meet every other month, starting January, March, May, July, September, November, or the, and all. This year we set special called meetings for those odd months of the year. I'm open to, we can do that same thing again next year. And then if we don't need, it's a lot easier to schedule it and have me cancel it because I don't have to have as much of a notice to schedule it and cancel it than it is to try to get it on the calendar without it being there because you've got to do the public notice, you've got to have the reasonable amount of time and that sort of thing. So it's easier to schedule it on the front end than it is on the, the back end. Joanna. To clarify though, it wasn't special called as round table. We had round table on there. Yes. And all. But you said the bylaws don't allow for that, so we had to call them special call. Now you told me that at one time that the bylaws, these new bylaws, we didn't really have round table discussions. I can do it either way because we scheduled those round table where we could just discuss, but most of the time we needed to convert it to a special call and we had to have an agenda and that sort of thing. No, what we were saying in the attendance is that we weren't going to mandate round table anymore. Okay, so that's still so in the So we can bylaws. still have round tables. That's, that's something that we can, I mean, okay. that's, we don't have to call them special calls. We can have round table. Okay. You know. How does that work? We, they'd still have to be advertised? It's a study session. Like a, a study session, study. round table study session. Can I schedule it as a study session? Then convert it to a special call meeting if we need to. I'm I think, at, I think this is a good idea to schedule as much as you need mm -hmm. in December or not in November when you commit the schedule. Okay. And you can take off what you don't need. Okay. So you, know, you don't have to worry about the special call issues that come along with that. Okay, so I will bring a calendar. However you want to call it round table or regular meeting or whatever but, it is. So so I'm the thing I want to know is when I submit this to IT and and all that. Call it study session. Would you rather call it study session? You I think that. So mean every other to every. Oh, you're we have a regularly one, scheduled session, meeting. Regular meeting, study session. Is that what you're okay? Yes, you that's the way we did it this year. I mean, you call it whatever you want. Okay. I mean, are you you're not going to have an agenda or anything to stuff the, the study session? I mean, what are you planning on doing? That was for, that for was the intent. We didn't do that because we ended up needing it every time for a special <laughs> call meeting. I get it. So, I think it'd be good. I, it'd be wise to put a notice of what's going on at the study sessions. Yes. Have uh -huh. some form of agenda. Okay. 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 You yeah, I can do. It I can matter, do that. You know, okay. But, uh, just yeah. so the public knows what's going on. Because right. The whole and idea then, is more information for the public so they right. can. Right. And I can. I can put our. And we have to have our little. Disclaimer on even the study session thing. So I can do that. I can, you know, send purpose of the study session. And then when we get an agenda, if we need an agenda, we can. Because those can go, the purpose goes first. So I can do that in, in steps. Well, this is, uh, if you want to treat it as a regularly scheduled meeting, you want to need to have the purpose, purpose of the meeting. So if you do it, yeah. you schedule everything else in, this, in November, okay. you can uh, have talk about whatever you want. But you would have to post some sort of agenda for it okay. as to what you plan on discussing, like 
somebody that we're discussing. I so. feel that. I just, if that's the way you want to keep it, because if we go to, and we, they was discussed yesterday, some meet monthly, some, most meet by month, every other month, you know, we could go to every month, but then sometimes I think if there's nothing to discuss, there's nothing to discuss, you know, there's nothing yes. to act on. So I think I'd rather do it this way and we have it, we, and there again, uh, I can do that. We can talk about location. This is easy. We can get the most of the time we can get this room if I ask for it far enough ahead of time. Um, but like with the committee meetings, we can we go to the different libraries. So, Joanna. And just to clarify for those of you that weren't here when we were going through the bylaws, um, the, the the why we're saying attendance is that at first it was like you had to attend a, even the round tables there was a certain amount but then we decided you know what those are just going to be study sessions so mm -hmm. um, if it's just a study session and we're just talking about something there's no mandatory attendance you can come or not come mm -hmm. it's just at least someone will be there to talk about something that's going on in the library on. it was just a I can understand your point so the regular meetings will have action items Right. Mm -hmm. Study sessions always have discussion items on the agenda. Correct. Right. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yes. So There's still agendas for both, regardless. And I will Correct. not submit so, that yeah. until I, you know we can come back and look at it again in November, because I won't submit it until November. So you know, think about it and that sort of thing. Now I'm going to play with calendar word calendar just a little bit. Uh, yesterday we got an example of planning the year ahead and uh, Cecilia gave us a couple of calendars the directors looked at it they like the idea of having it mapped out just a little bit not you know because we elect officers in May so that can go on the May calendar and you know it's going on the May agenda you know because that that's it so we then look at the bylaws September is committees go ahead and put those by month so you know what we're going to be doing with <laughs> you don't like that idea? <laughs> He's with that one. I'm sorry, did, did I not see your hand? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, and I, I've got a neat pin in my hand and I talk with my hands. So uh, pass those around and take a look at that was just, and this is put together by Jefferson County or Jefferson City and so just, it's just something to look at. I can work on that between now and uh, November and we can you know when we vote, we can vote on the calendars and this format okay. at that point in time uh, uh, so it was just that's not very nice. it's a really good especially like for the big ticket things that we know we have to deal with you know uh, we'll probably have budget items in January and February and we may not know what those are but we kind of know we'll deal with budget and that sort of thing so that was the other spin on calendar but I just wanted to put it out there and let you know that if you all like the idea of doing a regular meeting and having a study session because we can always turn it into special call if we need we just have the space the time the room and it's advertised yeah. ahead of time so um, that was that was where I was going with this um, for that do you like this idea of that calendar? We could do a study session in October, put this together if you wanted to. We've got the room reserved. So we could do that if we wanted to, is bring everything together and, you know, and it's not set in stone, but it's a stepping stones and guidelines. Yeah, I like and it. It wouldn't, so, wouldn't go on this calendar, but it's like we know when budget meetings need to take place right yeah. we know when the policies have to be done maybe it's like if if you're on several committees mm -hmm. you're going okay these three months i'm going to be doing this not that you can't call meetings whenever you want to mm -hmm. but that way you're just not overwhelmed with yeah. It definitely so, makes my brain happier. Uh, I know when things <laughs> more like a monthly guideline versus a calendar. 
No. No. Well, and there's two yes. formats monthly here, guidelines. so we can monthly guidelines. Yeah. Either, either <laughs> yeah. one. Yeah. 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 That makes my brain happy. They make me happy. Yeah. 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 And if we want to have this, we've got the room, we can do this in October. Um, and just call it a study session. So, so I'll do, but I'll still get, get it posted on the bulletin board and get just a little, say, calendar and things like that. So, yeah. Joanne. Um, what I would love is because um, with the directors, for them to even maybe submit some stuff to this yeah. and to let yeah. us know. Oh, yeah. So I just wanted to say, that, you know, I'd love to your input on what you're expecting to see from us on those, mm -hmm. on those months as well. And you're welcome, you know, you're welcome yeah. to come, bring it, and we, yeah, we nice. welcome that. So I know you, you have things that, and that helps, um, especially I know with June and the summer reading program, how, what a big responsibility that is, and a lot of times, uh, I don't know that we met in June for that reason. I think we, I canceled that meeting in June. We didn't meet in June because mm -hmm. there was so much going on. There's summer reading. And summer yeah. reading. So uh, that's just, but we can put it on the calendar and move on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody else? Any more, you know, input, suggestions? Okay, we're going to move on to discuss yearly evaluations for directors because that was one of the points they made. We had a, do I have a motion to get the discussion on the floor? Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Jan. Seconded. Thank you, Erica. <laughs> Can you tell I made my living talking on my feet all the time and I just move on. Okay, um, the yearly discussions, that was a very, um, it was driven home last time. We've, dis uh, we've discussed it a lot. In, among this body for years. Uh, we do have a piece in place, a director evaluation piece. It was put together by the personnel committee and uh, we were very fortunate when we put this together because J Judge Jayden Whitcraft helped us do this. So we had a free attorney uh, that was a member of this board that helped us put this together, this evaluation piece. Uh, it was done before they voted to go to the system, so it was designed to evaluate five individual library directors. So we don't have to reinvent the wheel. That's what it was designed for. Uh, I'll share it with you and let you look at it. Uh, what I need is, uh, after we discuss it, I would like to get a motion on the floor to get it, in, to get it going along the way. So you may have a copy of the piece that that was voted on. And Beth, do you remember? How, do you remember when we put it together and when we voted on it? It's, but it was pre-COVID. I do know that, and pre having one director when we had five, and uh, we could look back in some of the records to find out exactly when that was done. So, Jay, it yes. Was adopted on November the 14th, 2019. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> And what we did, just FYI, and I think Celia, you helped us with this. You sent us several different copies of evaluations that different systems use, and we just took it apart and put it back together with what we thought would fit our needs. Now on here, one of the things that, one of the points that was made yesterday was um, that the directors could write. Well, self, uh, self evaluation was one thing, but the other was a paragraph or what they need from us. So it's kind of an a interactive piece that is not on here, but it's got a back. I mean, you know, that's something you can ask for along the way. But that, and that was one, it was, it doesn't have to be there, it was just a suggestion on the interactive piece. Um, and when they talked about self-assessment, 
and I lived through evaluations for years. A lot, the last ones I had, you actually, they actually gave us the piece that they were evaluating us on, and I had to do the evaluation myself without seeing it, took what I had to the meeting and looked at both of them, which, um, you know, if you want self-evaluation as a, and, and to go in with an evaluation, then we can uh, do that. Any questions, Joanna? Um, so my concern is this is four years old. It was uh -huh. also a different personnel committee. Mm -hmm. um, and this is the first time I'm seeing this evaluation. And I, um, and this is something we're, we're just getting a personnel committee together now. Um, I've been actually looking at different evaluations because I knew this was coming up and from a certification and all that stuff. Um, and although you had put it on the agenda, this wasn't an attachment, so I'm just looking at it right now. So um, I would not feel comfortable with accepting this as um, an evaluation, and my ask would be that the personnel committee get together and take a look at this, and that if we were to vote on this evaluation, that it not be until the next meeting so that all of us even have a chance to take a look at this. That's my comment. Jean. Madam Chairman, uh, and, and again, this is about four years old. I'm wondering how many, uh, well, this predates my time in Sumner County, right. but, but how many of our library directors are familiar with this or had any, uh, we have anybody they under four years? They never, right. okay. ever. Yeah. And so, we were very close to getting oh, no, this grown. Totally get it, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think you know, join this point. Then COVID, COVID Everything hit. is so new. Yeah, COVID uh, hit. So. That maybe a, a a little pause before adoption okay. to get input. If we wait until November and then we want to look at it again, we're kicking that can down and they're still out there floundering without any kind of an evaluation. And one of the points that the girl made yesterday, a woman made, she said, I welcome evaluations. I want it done yearly so I know what I'm doing and I know you know, expectations and that sort of thing. And I just, we kicked it down the road for four years. And it's it's just something I think that needs to get started and it needs to be done. Um, what I'd like you to do is look at this then and we can vote on this piece again in November, talk about it at the study session mm -hmm. and uh, move on with that. But I do, I don't want to sit back and I don't want it to, to get into committee and have to be over and over and you know that sort of thing it's something we need to move with and uh, and keep going so Joanna but this is something that the personnel committee would actually put together and we just put together a new personnel committee so this could be the first agenda such as her policy that, sh that we're that we're going to be meeting on and if we as a committee meet before November which would give us plenty of time we come up with something mm -hmm. all we have to do is give it to you guys before we meet in November we yep. vote on it and then we start evaluations in January yeah I, I don't so see that as is really anything that's that's really prolonging it too much farther if we can get that done I, Jim Madam Chair, I think you have a committed board to okay. get this done I, I don't think anyone is looking I to think Terry, so. but I think important new board, new directors, build this. And if anybody is taking note of my words, and somebody should be, uh, I think <laughs> the uh, an annual evaluation it shouldn't be the only time that we're giving feedback. Right, to, oh yeah. You know, oh, yeah. two directors. And, Correct. So, yeah. uh, so we don't need to wait for this to happen. I mean, obviously right. any formal documentation needs to happen there, but it should be an ongoing conversation. Right, and yeah. then, and there are such a thing as walkthroughs. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Absolutely. So I've been told. I know. There's always candy at Hendersonville. So. <laughs> I have to. Repeat. 
employees into the office, and it's the only way to get them to come up here. Oh, chocolate is that what it is? I learned it. It's just a trail. <laughs> I love it. So, so we, we need a motion. motion. Well, no, because we got it on the table okay. as a discussion. <coughs> okay. So, um, well, I could entertain a motion to discuss this at the um, in October. Yeah, to old business. Huh? You move it to old business. Okay. All right. We um, but if we do it in October with the study session, we no, could just discuss it. We're, okay. we're going to do the committee. This is what I thought. We're going to personnel committee is going to take okay. care of this, and then. And then we're going to present it in November. Okay. So that means the old business. So we'll put it under old business. Yes. All right. Moving right along. It's 4:30. So I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, directors, I've got you, Amy. I've got you first. So we'll listen to. Does everybody have one of these before? Um, it's the. It's this pretty color one. Okay. 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 Yes. I love the fall colors. I said I'm a fall girl, so you can tell. So, um, for the board members, I just gave you a copy of the training that's uh, provided as an opportunity for staff and directors from the state and the region, um, just so you can see what, what we're working on. Um, I'm going to speak for everybody. We, we pride ourselves on going to as much training as we can because if the library isn't led by a lifelong learner, the library won't teach the lifelong learner. Mm -hmm. And that's that's what the library does. Okay, sorry. Um, I gotta write that down. <laughs> 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 um I've I've given you so much stuff to I'm not gonna read all of it because everybody can read, sorry. I'm I love what I do and sometimes I <clears throat> get a little too excited. Um, my staff and I, we came up with a vision statement for our library, and it's something that we've been working on for the, probably since April, and this is the first time anybody outside of our little Millersville walls gets to see it. Um, everybody on staff contributed to developing our, mission st our vision statement. We are leaving the mission statement because there is one for the libraries that was set, I believe, by the board. Um, so this is our personal vision statement, and I know everybody can see it, but I want to read it because it's so cool. Oh, I have no job. Um, the Millersville Public Library endeavors to promote the love of lifelong reading and learning through innovative programming, robust and current collections, as well as current technology and resources. We strive to create opportunities for engagement that will meet the needs of our growing community in a welcoming and supportive environment. So I just, I'm just really excited. It took us a long time to get this. <laughs> and it's just when you see something and you're like, oh wow, that sounds pretty good. We sound professional. It's really exciting. Um, just I wanted to let y'all know what we've kind of done, completed projects, what we're working on, and what's coming. Um, so um, yours is newer. See. No, okay. um, we are currently at one of our ongoing projects that I didn't put down because I already printed it like twice and it just felt like a waste of more paper is I'm currently in the middle of doing a website refresh. It hadn't been touched since Melissa, probably. Um, it's ongoing. <laughs> it's, I think all the fonts are finally the same now. You know, baby steps, but we're getting there so as you if you come and look at our website, you'll notice changes. Um, is that you see more? I'm sorry. Is that you mm -hmm. see more? Yeah. And it's it's not the best program to use, but I've used one similar. It's not intuitive, but if you throw enough rocks at it, something will work. Um, that was a joke. I don't throw rocks at computers. <laughs> They're expensive. The rocks, not the computers. Um, for for our upcoming projects, there's just. I'm really excited. We've been invited by the elementary school in Millersville to go and participate in the Read Beneath the Stars at the end of the month. I know this is just supposed to be for August and July, but it's really exciting because we've been I've been trying to get in with the school since I started because it's such an important partnership. And then we're going to be participating in the Millersville Fall Festival on the last Saturday in September. We're going to be doing story times library card signups we're doing some having some books for our friends for a little book drive it's going to be great 
So that's just really exciting, and I kind of mentioned it nudge nudge to Jackie, and I think I kind of mentioned it nudge nudge to the directors about compiling our director reports and getting it to the mayor and the county commissioners so they kind of know what's going on. Um, that's something that was um, a great idea. One of the director trainings that we went to for the region, and I thought it was a great idea. Just something, a one page, easy, compile all the info, send it out. I think it would be great. So we're gonna try and work on that, but it might be, that's why it's a upcoming. <laughs> you know, upcoming. Um, user, I just heard some stuff while I was walking around the library from a couple of patrons. I just thought it was good. We're the hidden gem of the Sumner County Library. <laughs> really that oh, absolutely. <laughs> we have the best library. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to give you a little recap of our budget. It we have we spent eighty five percent of our budget, but as you'll see, the majority of that was in personnel. And I'm not sure if any but everybody knows, but you can't transfer money from personnel lines to other lines. So that nary the two shall meet. Um, we had a lot of turnover and I refused to hire someone until I knew what I needed and because I was able to take my time I was able to change the open position into a children's assistant and I had enough money to pay them the children's assistant pay because I was able to see what the need actually was um, but we spent only 4% of the budget remaining was in non-employee lines, which I think is great considering I started in October. <laughs> and I have flood, just in case anybody didn't know. <laughs> um, we had a great summer reading. Um, it was, it was Millersville, as far as I know, had never done anything like that before. We had special guests every single week. It was fantastic. Um, we had the science guys was our opening group. We had 70 people come. Wow. If you've been in our library, <laughs> it was warm and tight, but we had blast. And the beekeeper, 75 people. Those were our two most highest wow. programs. And we were bursting at the seams, and it was fantastic. <laughs> um, we had a movie and a lunch every Tuesday. We were able to provide lunch for 67 people in our community. That we don't, we don't ask. We had food provided by donations from our community through our friends group, and we had food, and people came. And because we got such good donations for this lunch program we wanted to do, we've been able to keep our blessing box filled. Um, that's something that Millersville's been doing for years, and it's, it's something that is needed in our community, and it's something that I love that we can do, because yeah. everybody loves the library. Um, We've added four new programs in August and September. Uh, we started a creative writing program. We have a published author as one of our staff members and he's leading it on and it looks like a lot of fun. I get to work the desk so he can do the project, so <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> the desk is fun because then you get to see people. Um, we're, tr we're trying a family movie matinee. Um, we're just trying it. If, if you don't try, you'll never know. Um, a Happy Artist Club, we've had a lot of feedback that people are wanting something for their older kids. And so this is an after school program at three, age, geared for ages 10 and up. And by our resident artist, our children's librarian happens to have an art degree. So, you know, handy. Definitely not the only reason I hired her. <laughs> um, and then we're starting an adult film we're calling it a festival, but it's like you watch a movie and then you have a discussion about it. I don't know what else to call it because I'm not boardsmith, but we're trying that at the end of the month for the first time. And in October, we're going to be starting a book talk for geared towards adults. And it's going to be thematic instead of based on a book. So the example I give is if the theme is mysteries, then everybody can come and talk about a mystery that they like instead of we're in a book club and everybody <coughs> reads the same book and has a discussion. So this is more of like, okay, I like the cat food books. Somebody likes those murder mystery whodunit books and then they all get to come and talk about why they like this book and that book. It's, 
I've heard really great things. I'm really excited about it. Okay. Um, I'm not going to go over because I've already talked too much. Sorry, y'all. You, you know I have no show. Um, this is just a comparison of July and August from last year to July and August this year. And we did better than they did last year. Um, our programs, we had fewer programs, but we still had more people in attendance. And then on the back of the page with the pictures is just a very brief breakdown of our summer reading numbers. How many people registered, how many logs we had, and how many minutes that broke down to. We had a summer reading survey and 50 people of the, 50% of the people that completed the survey said that they noticed a 50% improvement in their reading skills and reading skills. That's awesome. And then just the boring numbers. <laughs> There's no pretty pictures. So, but the numbers, and I'm happy to go over anything if anybody has any questions. Thank you. Oh, sorry, does anybody have any questions? <laughs> Okay, thanks. Thanks. thank you. Thanks. You're lovely. Thank you. I really like what I do. I'm in trouble. I have two of these. Well, it's, it's geared for adults. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll change the words. Because it's definitely not that. Thank you so much, Amy. Okay, uh, Gabby. Building, so we have to go through them first to 
I don't know, that's what I've always been told. Um, so we did, and we ended up being the lowest bid anyway, and they know our building. They've done all of the remodels we've done, and he quoted it as a little bit under 71000 and the Memorial Foundation has said that's fine. And then we're working with the Meta Group, and they are giving us a grant of 22000 to get closet cabinet space in the whole space. So we will be able to put all the supplies and tools and materials. Um, so it is just an insane project and it's bigger than anything our library has done and I'm really excited about it. Um, we are also looking for furniture and I think I've talked to Jim about it. We need movable furniture. The tables we have in there weigh about four tons each and they're just not you can't move them around to do what you want with the space and we need it to be usable for a variety of things. Um, so there's that and our goal is to have it done by the end of the year. We also, um, this is really friend heavy, our friends have been busy. We had a former friends member who was also on the school board and she was a lifelong educator and she's the mother of our current Gallatin mayor. Um, but she passed away a few months ago and we got an enormous amount of donations in her behalf and we are doing a little library in her honor as one of the projects and um, we're going to install it at E.B. Wilson because she started that program and that was supposed to help young adults finish school, ones that had to go to work because they were broke or had kids. It's a, they do like hybrids and virtuals, like it is just a way to get people graduated. Um, it's really, and she started, she was the founding member of it, it was her idea, her investment. So we want to put this little library there and because we do have such a generous community and we get so many book donations we can't keep up. Um, we will never have a problem stocking this. Like we don't even have to say like, oh, can somebody help with this? Well, it will be stocked to the brim. Like it will be good. Um, so we are going, and I want to invite y'all. We're going to have a ribbon cutting with the Chamber of Commerce because um, we're trying to make it a huge event um, on October 10th at three o'clock. And it would be really awesome if y'all were there. Um, do do do. Staffing, we've got two open positions, and um, we've been doing a lot of reevaluating. I've met with my staff quite a bit, and um, we're changing a few things around. And that kind of, I should have put the mobile library up there with it. We let go the lady that was driving our mobile library van, and we are parking it for the rest of the year. Um, it is not being used to its full potential, and I think we've been kind of wasting staffing hours on it. I think it can be better used, but we need to evaluate it. And we're going to some of the big places that we promised that we feel like really need us. Um, so we're still going to those, and um, I don't. It's, I go, and it's it gets done, and people like it. Um, so that's part. We're we're planning to restart in January, visiting places. Um, we also have a lot of events coming up. I kind of went forward instead of talking about summer. So um, the Main Street Festival is October 7th. If y'all never been to that at Gallatin, it is insanely wonderful fun. We set up tables out front and advertise all of our programs. And um, people who've never stepped foot in a library see a big poster and they're like, oh, y'all have more than books. So it really works well for us. And we just enjoy it because we love the people. Um, and the food trucks. Um, trick or treat on the square is coming up October 31st. It's kind of geared towards the five and under group. So they're out of school and not run over by the big kids. Um, we plan for at least a thousand people, kids, every year. Um, the chamber's actually planning for 1,500 this year. We don't have that much money. But we also, I wanted to, we, in the past, we've had people volunteer and help us hand out the stuff. Um, we've had commissioners and board members and just volunteers throughout the community and it's just really fun seeing all those kids for a couple of hours and giving them a little treat. So if any of y'all want to volunteer to help hand out candy, my staff is super creative and we dress up, we go hard. Um, <laughs> the other thing I want to make sure that y'all have on your calendars and I would love for y'all to come and several came last year is our Christmas open house. 
and um, it's going to be bigger and better than it's ever been because that's what I have to say. Um, the Chamber of Commerce has asked me to join the Holiday Planning Committee and they are helping us rephrase and re-advertise and grow and giving us all the resources um, to really grow this open house and try to get as many people from the community to see what an asset the library is. So that's been really exciting, but it is December 7th, we'll also have Santa Claus there, um, December 7th from 5 to 7, and I would love to see y'all there. Um, and the last thing I want to talk about is our carpet. The upstairs is done, and it's beautiful, and there's pictures in there, and it's the prettiest the building's been since I've been there. <laughs> um, and we are working on the children's carpet. Um, Commissioner Klein and Commissioner Boyd have spent a lot of time battling for us um, and all the committees and all of the stuff, and um, Carrie really summarized it well on what steps we're waiting on, so I included her steps. In this packet, so we're still hoping by the end of the year we have it in the children's library because it is a hazard. And that's all I have, unless I've got something you need to know or details or something. And I did get a text or email from somebody saying they were going to reach out to me so I could do, you know, help you or go with you or whatever, you know. Um, somebody on the budget committee said, Oh, you know, yes. reached out I'm to sorry. me. Yes. Sorry, commission, but they reached out to me and said, "Get with Gabby, and then if I need to back you up, I'll be glad." Well, Curtis went ahead. Um, they needed. They wanted a quote by Monday night. Mm -hmm. Maybe Monday night. And so Curtis Construction came in, and even though we were closed, and they measured and they gave us a quote, which I also included in that, so y'all know what we're trying to get. Um, not Curtis, I'm so sorry, Joey's Carpet. They're the ones who did it upstairs and they did a fabulous job because um, it was a major headache and nothing worked out the way it was supposed to. And um, thankfully we had trustees and maintenance men and staff um, because we learned a lot. And they know now what kind of project we're looking at in the children's library, so they have, we have a very realistic look here. Thank you, Gabby. Anita? Uh, mine is the purple one. Or purple. I have purple. I represented today. That's right. I that. <laughs> um, first of all, I would like to thank Joanna, Jackie, and Beverly for being there yesterday. As uh, Gabby said, we did get our awards for our tech grant. Um, and since you guys uh, showed up, that definitely helps. We did get everything. I got everything approved except for like 10%, and that is based on how many trustees actually go through the program. So, yeah. Yes. Where were you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, please go every time you can. There, there, there. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to go over that. all of this and every time you guys can, can see it and, and go over yourself. I do want to say thank you to Alicia because, because of Hendersonville, her sharing, we have two new puppets at Portland. And okay. I, know, I love puppets. They're one of those things where you... You just capture a kid's attention with a puppet. Mm -hmm. um, so we do have a new puppet. Those um, at night, you were welcome. Okay. Um, <laughs> ours is the little dog in the middle, and our kids just named him Puddles. Oh. Because he makes Puddles, and he's from Portland. Oh. So, <laughs> makes yeah. Puddles. Yeah, his name is Puddles. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Alliteration in its face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I didn't think about it, but Amy kind of reminded me and everything, just to give you an update uh, for last year's budget and everything. I think we finished at 94%, which was great and everything, so I think we're right on track again for this year. Um, so far, right now, as at the end of August, our budget was at 15.4%, uh, which is usually right on, on the target for those couple of months and everything. Um, September, I did kind of jump ahead a little bit. September is our sign up for a library fund month. Uh, anybody that comes into the Portland Library and signs up for a new library card gets a book bag. We have two different kinds that they can choose from, and I would have brought you one, but I'm saving them all for the people that are. If we have leftovers, I'll bring some next time. And everything. But yeah, really cool uh, book bags that they can pick from and everything. Um, Friends of our library auction is coming up. It's going to be October the 24th through November the 11th. Uh, if you guys are in the area and everything, please stop by and do some Christmas shopping. We usually have all kinds of donations from local uh, businesses and everything, and it's one of our major events for our friends at the library. They, that's what basically you know, supports all of our programs throughout the year and our uh, summer reading for sure. Uh, the last thing that I'm gonna bring up or whatever is Linda just uh, reminded me when I left, 
for those of you that don't know Miss Linda, she is, I guess, the longest tenured library employee in Sumner County. She's been with us for 27 years. She is super excited because she is going to move some things around in her area. She has never done that before in her in the whole time that she's been here. She's always been told how things are supposed to be or whatever. She came to me one day and she said, do you mind if I move these shelves over here? And I'm like, absolutely, sure. And she just thinks it will work better for the kids and everything. So she's super excited for that and everything. So that's all I got. Um, anybody got any questions, any comments? Any attaboys? Thank you very All much. Right. Thank you. And I'm not helping Lauren. Okay. Thank you, Gabby. I was here late. Um, minor emergency on the drive here, nothing severe. Um, being a mom and driving down the road is always an exciting time. And I just thought my sister's house would be the change of clothes and get her fixed. And it was just, I would have been here 20 minutes earlier, but. There you go. My report was much smaller this month than it typically is. Um, oh, pass it down. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, Susie. It's okay. <laughs> I just said 10. Um, so the first page that when you open it up, it's got the little rectangles. That's just thank you. It's just got the programming. So in August, we hosted 21 programs. And I've just got August on this. July and June, I had smushed together and I gave that out at the August meeting. There was just kind of special call, but if y'all need a copy of that, um, But in August, we had 21 programs. We averaged about 10 people at each program. Some programs had like one or two, and then all our story times and homeschool groups, that's usually like a big, larger group. Um, we had nearly 800 visitors through our doors. Um, we had a big collection growth, uh, circulated a lot of items through physical items and also through reads. Um, I usually include a lot more information this month coming back to work has been a whirlwind getting everything back and lined up making sure budgets on track making sure staff is good I lost two staff members so I've got two new staff members hired um, we've got PLMI we've got grants that we're working on we got our tech grant as well so we've got computer monitors um, battery backups that we're coming in so my report's not as pretty as it was. <laughs> I promise the next time we meet it will be better. Amy really showed me up. And well, I saw hers and I said, I, can, I, I have to be better than Lauren. I, yeah. like, well, so. I usually like to have a whole lot of stuff going on. It, in the future, will be better. Um, on this page right here, just a couple of fun things going on. Um, going to PLMI, I know y'all talked about that earlier. It's just a little bit of information on what it is. And then also next week is the ARSOL conference, which is the Association for Rural and Small Libraries. It's a national association. Um, they host a conference each fall and a national conference. Um, actually presenting a session there. So super nervous, super excited. It's going to be about homeschooling and the necessity for homeschool programs within the libraries. Woo! I know we have a lot of homeschool people. Um, my degree is in early childhood education. Um, Big advocate. I don't care which type of education you choose, which type you choose, as long as you are doing it rightly and your kids are getting accurate information, making sure that they have community. And a lot of people will talk about like homeschool kids are weird. They don't have community, and it's not the truth. They're actually more and more much community. more socially yes. adept than a lot of people realize. Um, but just making sure that they have that, they have good leadership, they have. Someone that can take you up besides just their parents. Um, and some people don't take the umbrella schools necessarily. So it's just, that's something that has been close to my heart. I started the homeschool group August of last year, um, and it's been one of our biggest things. So I'm going to present on that and the importance of it next week. Uh, Caitlin from the region is also going to be there, so Cecilia's assistant. It's going to be great. And I say um a lot apparently today. And then the last page is just our August statistics. And if y'all have any questions at all, just let me know. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. And now, uh, Alicia. Yes. So, because they made such amazing full reports, I knew you were going to have a lot of reading, so I uh, don't have anything today. It's actually in my dumpster, um, <laughs> which got thrown. 10 minutes before the door and I wasn't in a dumpster. Time, so so y'all yeah, will get everything in your email tomorrow. 
I do have one little copy of my August stats. I got shoved into my bag, and I hope this one is the right one. So, um, as far as programs, we have a total of 54 programs that are currently running. In our program attendance, um, we have 1,207. Our events that occur within our library in our different meeting rooms, we had 26 for August <coughs> with 754 attendees. Um, a lot of those were for our recent it reintroduction to Kurt Cameron and the Brave Book thing. I'm happy to report that that one went off without a hitch, so y'all didn't see anything in the papers this time. All we made the paper uh, for this month was the blessing box that we got. Um, <coughs> thanks to Amy, we started researching it and had somebody willing to do one. Our blessing box at first, we had some community members mention that Hendersonville wouldn't need something like that. So um, I'm happy to say that Hendersonville does need something like that. Yeah. The volunteer who is stocking it has to stock it every single day. Wow. And we have three closets completely full of diapers, wipes, clothing, hygiene items, food, brand new car seats, wow. and um, tickets that people can pick up and reimburse at the front desk for formula. Mm -hmm. So that has gone over a lot better than what we expected. Um, we're not having to do anything with it, just being there. Um, so let's see what else. We are completely fully staffed. Um, I did have to let two people go and have replaced. We have one teen librarian and a assistant teen librarian at this point because we're averaging 35. And we keep that teen room open all, all day, every day now. Um, so on one side are directed programs, and on the other side is more of a casual, they can sit down and color or anything else. We've also started a I need bag, and it's a little paper bag that has either hygiene products for a female or hygiene products for a male, as well as like pens, pencils, things like that. They don't have to say anything to us. They just go pick up an I need bag and they can take it home, and that kind of fills in some gaps that they're embarrassed to ask for, or maybe they can't get. Um, we've started a preteen program, and it has, um, for some reason, hide and seek in the park. They thought that was a great idea. So we'll see how that goes. Um, they're also going to be playing chess and bingo and all other sorts of things. Um, with our passive activities, which is kind of what I'm talking about, with scavenger hunts and things like that, Last month we only had three, but our attendance was 2,449. So that's a whole lot of kids running around the library looking for things, and they keep it done every day, something new and different. Um, coming up, we have, we're going to be doing a fall festival in our parking lot in November, and then in December, on December the 4th, and this is, of course, y'all are invited to everything. We're going to have a formal art crawl and musician show. Ooh, we have reached out to several um, professional musicians who have accepted, and they will be providing music from 5 to 7.30. And all day long, there will be art um, displayed all over the library. So children's art, they can go in the children's department, see little easels set up, and we're asking people to be as formal as possible because we really want to support these. Can you say that? Uh, yes. They just got the graphic done today, and one of my my main ones. I'm stealing one of your Portland people. Okay. Have you met the violinist? No. Okay. You have a 16-year-old prodigy violinist in Portland, and he oh, loves to yesterday. play at the library. Yes, so right about, now. Yeah. Yep. Um, so we're we're looking forward to these things. Um, the past month has been very interesting at our library, as we've had our um, HVAC completely go out um, to the point that it was what about 90 in the building at all times. Our, we had a leak from the top floor into the teen room, which destroyed a lot of furniture and TV and, and things like that. Um, then we had, let's see what else happened. <laughs> Our internet went out for three days, not happy patrons. Our uh, phones went down, not happy staff. Our elevator has gone down. All for right now. <laughs> just, that's, just, uh, You're not just, trying to be cool 
like me. <laughs> hey, at least the flood just took out a TV, right? <laughs> Not the good books. Um, so we're still slowly making progress each month, increasing things. Um, all my new staff members have really special skills. So we've got people who have four or five languages. So there's a German club that started up. Um, for some reason, teenagers really like Dungeons and Dragons, so we started up one of those and actually have to run three of those now, um, three different spots in the week because of so many in attendance. Because we had so many in attendance, we have also offered it virtually, and we have 42 people who are signed up virtually to attend, and I have no idea whether they're actually on the screen or not, but my team librarians tell me they are participating. So it's it got huge. And I think that's pretty much it. I can do much better if I have my report in front of me. <laughs> when is your fall? When did you say your fall? We are working on getting that scheduled. Okay. Um, we have a lot of community partners who are wanting to come in and just donate time, talent, and other things, whether it's face painting or bouncy houses or whatever else. And we're just trying to pin that one down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Add a girl. <laughs> Add a girl. Good job. All right. Uh, now, Miss Cecilia. Okay, I won't take long. Uh, so, starting out, maintenance of effort. Just is it is it out being circulated? Uh, I have it right Actually, now. Yeah. Um, I'm going to see the city manager. It's Tuesday yeah. and the mayor. Tuesday okay. to get them to sign it, and then I'll get it to Alicia to get. Henderson will sign it and then it'll get back to me. She'll get back to me to get Jackie yeah. and then it'll win with me as far as yeah. And thank you, Nita. Yeah. I, I have it if anybody wants to look and see what it looks like. I brought it. Yeah, perfect. I just, yeah. uh, I appreciate it and I appreciated Nita specifically because you really paid attention to it and saw that there were some numbers missing. So I, I, I appreciate that. Um, the library board appointment form, I have this in my office and I keep track of who's coming on, who's going off, when, and it's it's actually quite an important document because it's, it's hard to keep up with. Um, now it's uh, it's definitely not updated uh, because of all the changes that have been, so I'm, I'm hoping to actually talk to, to you about some of these dates and see if we can figure it out. Um, usually what we try to aim for is that people go off at the end of June, come back on, or come on July 1st, and you can kind of make sure you have a full board at all times. Mm -hmm. um, that's, I mean, that's out the window um, uh, for this board <laughs> at this very moment. So um, so I'm going to uh, hopefully have a chat at some point with, with uh, Steve and see if we can figure out some dates that will work for you so we can move forward with that. Um, so that's happening. I, I just wanted, I'm just so happy that all of these guys are doing PLMI. It's kind of a big deal. A lot of people applied, a lot of people didn't get in. Uh, so that they, they got accepted, that's, that's great. And I know it's going to take some time. And I know you have put down that, you know, in, in November is the first week. So it's an intense week and they will have another week next, next September. Uh, so um, I'm excited about that. Um, I think Amy had already printed out the training calendar, so that's already happening, and I appreciate you guys for being at the Trustee Workshop yesterday. It's, it really means a lot, and it also means, as you know, for the Tech Brand Award, uh, it's going to mean um, that they probably are going to get some money again next year, which is a good thing. Um, I'm going to... You're fine. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just joking with you. Uh, uh, I think that's, that's about it. I also would like to be at the, your committee meeting when you talk about the library service agreement. Okay. If I can. Okay. Just remember, yeah, to include you on the email when yeah. it goes out. Yeah. Okay. And okay. Or if it comes to me, I'll forward it to you. So we'll, okay. we'll do that. All right. I think we've covered everything in, in an hour and a half. That's pretty good for us. So uh, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. I just have a quick question. Sorry. Quick question. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I was about the 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 dates for for that. For this one. Yes. yes. I know yeah. you and I had a chat about it at some point. Yeah. So is it just? Well, it's what, really what, just, it's really just for us to keep track of <laughs> when people are supposed to go off. Okay. Uh, and it, is yours not right? Well, you know? I had talked to her, and there was some 
wrong dates mm -hmm. and I had talked to her and I had to go back and get some notes from yeah. the commissioners yeah. and we had to get them corrected so I was just curious and I don't if, I'm, I'm missing some dates for um, just for the three new ones when they came on so I just need to if, if you have those dates I'll I'll talk to you about that okay and, and then they're still the missing Bruce Carter mm -hmm. his spot is still open which is I know you're aware of that. And, that, and now with losing Ruth and, and Diane and Diane. Mm -hmm. going to be another one. So yes. it's just, uh, I just want to keep an eye on right. this one to make sure okay. that we know what's happening with the different people. And, okay. and those are supposed to be updated on the website as well. Yeah, so this is what we keep in our office and then you can either use this one or have your own. Um, okay. But Yes, yeah, so you probably keep it on your website too, possibly. Okay. But yes. that's not that, I that's don't not have mine. a copy of that, but if you yeah. could see it, you know, yeah, I'll that'd be sure great. Thank you. So. Yeah, we've talked about that a few times. Okay. All right. Now I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Thank you, Beth. Uh, second. second. Jim, second. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? We are adjourned. All right. Hi. The folks that are on the policy committee. No. 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 No.